Good evening and welcome to Fox News. I'm Dylan Pembroke. The Vincent Health Center is busier than ever as cold and flu season hits full swing. As the sniffles hit campus, employees at the health center say students can come by for information on flu prevention. The health center offers a self-help sheet that lists common symptoms and highlights the differences between a cold and the flu. The health center also provides free flu shots for those that have the student health insurance plan. Employee, employees at the health center say the best tip for flu prevention is to simply wash your hands. In Killingsworth Hall, there are many excited residents ready for the holiday season. However, they must keep in mind the rules for having de decorations in their dorm rooms. Consequences are issued to residents in dorms who do not follow the regulations. Uh, if any of the rules are broken, we just leave a note saying that they need to take it down or that they need to change whatever it is that they need to change. And a couple of days later, I just follow up with it and make sure they did it. MSU Housing says students can still decorate as long as they follow the rules. The Fantasy of Lights at MSU started November 24th. Families, friends, and children come out to enjoy the light displays set up on campus in front of the Hardin building. There are many displays that draw the crowd's attention, but there is one attraction that many kids in Wichita Falls look forward to and depend on. The City of Wichita Falls Parks and Rec Department are responsible for the box itself and um, all of the letters that are sent or put into the box with a return envelope, um, the city of Wichita Falls picks those up and then Santa returns those letters to the kids. If you want Santa to receive your Christmas letter, make sure to visit Santa's mailbox and drop it off before it's too late. The Fantasy of Lights will be open between dusk and 10 p.m. until December 28th. The ending of the fall semester means students will soon be traveling home for winter break. This means more stops at the pump. According to TexasGasPrices.com, prices are falling all over the state. As the holidays approach, those going home will be sure to take advantage of the lower cost. With travel expenses heading south for the winter, students can expect to see more traffic on the road. To avoid the holiday rush, students should pack up early during finals week and get on the road early. For more tips, visit www.travelsense.org. With the number of university organizations rising, independent groups still find their place on campus. Brent Deeb has the story. The Clark Student Center has long been the heart of community life at MSU, giving students of all type a place to come together. We're here for everybody, so um, there's just lots of rooms that they can reserve and um, do meetings or um, just other things in there, yeah. One group of friends in particular has taken full advantage of the Student Center's benefits and embraces their claim to fame. Uh, I call it the Nerd Lounge because that's where all the nerds go. Yeah, it looks like they have fun and they play games and stuff. This self-established melting pot of students sits up camp at the Arrowhead Lounge across from the CAF. Each day they can be found doing, well, nerd things. A bunch of trading card games, uh, play League of Legends, uh, talk, have debates. This unofficial club began as nothing more than a group of students gathering for some friendly competition. I just came down here one day and heard some people playing an online game called League of Legends. I just walked up and said, hey, I play League too. And we just went from there. Since then, it has blossomed into something much more. We did it instantly become friends right off the bat. It took some time to get to know everyone, but after a while, we be, everyone knows who I am and we're all good friends. Still, in the interest of maintaining that community atmosphere, the Nerd Lounge welcomes all newcomers. Sit down. You know, if you don't have a deck, we'll lend you one. It's not formal. We're not uptight about it. You know, we all just sort of hang out here. Brent Deeb, Fox News. The Arrowhead Lounge is one of the few places in the CSC where students can hang out, including the pool hall, computer lab, and atrium. Looking for a quick snack before class? Vending machines are a convenient way for students to access food and drinks while on campus. Machines are located in buildings all over campus, but all are cash only. These days, students tend to not have cash, but find it easier to carry a card, causing them to avoid the cash only ones. Starting December 15th, all existing machines will be replaced by those that also accept credit and debit cards. The replacements are expected to be installed by the week of January 5th, just in time for the start of spring classes. You may not recognize them, but you recognize their food. The Kiowa Cooks are a group of alumni working hard for the students of MSU and the community. Fox's own Mandy Saul has the story. The holiday season is made for good food and good deeds, and one group at MSU does this all year round. 
The Kiowa Cooks are a group of alumni who have been cooking for the MSU community for more than 20 years. The Cooks have more than 30 members who show up for different events. You know, just do the setup and all those things, so it's all different people that do it. The Cooks can be found at different events, including Spirit Days, Homecoming Week, or, more recently, off campus at local high schools. They do a great job. Uh, it's a great thing for them to come out and help us and, and feed these kids and uh, help support Ryder basketball. The Cooks are well known for their delicious burgers and one-of-a-kind french fries. It's amazing. We love it. The kids are loving it. We're already sending some back for seconds. More amazing than their foods is their dedication to the university. Proceeds from each event go toward a scholarship fund for MSU students. And it's funded every year, and there's usually about 10 kids a semester. It's not real big. I think it's $250 a, you know, a kid. So it's like buying a book or something for them. So. Each scholarship received is a much appreciated donation from a very generous group of men. The young, younger guys and girls at Midwestern and stuff, uh, just kind of payback. Mandy Saul, Fox News. For all of us here at Fox News, I'm Dylan Pembroke. Thanks for watching.